Hello, Nomad Sculpt, um, Sculpt Hidden Mesh. Okay, how to do this? <laughs> uh, okay, let's go to Nomad. Um, sorry. I need the camera gesture. Um, such a hole or, yes, um, but uh, this hole is mm, a little bit trickier uh, to sculpt inside because, uh, yes, the camera is a little bit uh, difficult to handle and, yes, and uh, I make this object additive and this is the mesh inside. Um, here you can see, um, yes, what's sculpted inside. And this is the additive material. Okay. Uh, other example is here, um, this bowl. And if you want to uh, move something of the bowl, um, with a move brush it works. You can use the symmetry like this and and there's a, at the left side the normal function and you, then you can uh, bring it uh, in this position. But when you use a view like the front view you can't reach uh, the, the points you want to reach because it's not possible. You only can pick the outer mesh. And for this problem, it's possible to use um, a helping plane. Bring in a plane and bring it in the right view. Let's scale it. And you can use a decimation, uh, um, um, not a decimation, a density uh, of zero. Validate the object and then simple merge the objects. And now when you use the drag brush and pick here on the plane, you see the inside of the mesh is affected. Like this. And it's um, useful to um, To use the additive uh, material, when you pick here, you can sculpt it inside. And uh, adjust it inside a little bit. And this, um, with a plane, this works also for other things. When I I bring in here a sphere and I validate this and, and now we need a plane make it big and topology zero and um, here you can um, place the plane in the position you need and validate it and select both meshes and simple merge them. And in the additive view you can use the drag, the drag tool and uh, for example the dynamic topology and then 
you can drag your mesh inside and cut here inside like this you can test it um, for yourself and if you don't need the, the plane anymore uh, go there and separate the meshes and delete your plane um, okay the next step is to sculpt inside the mesh is uh, when you use the cell mask or the mask it's, uh, mask also uh, works and mask here apart and now when you turn on the hide mask button at the bottom uh, I, is it here or here interface remesh wire camera reset no it's always there hide mask button and when the hide mask button is on um, it's also possible uh, to sculpt inside inside the mesh and use the drag tool and check always your settings in the brush front facing vertex only on off or connected topology um, sometimes it works not um, because okay and the last version of sculpting inside the mesh is um, I uh, Beso told me um, about the material settings and the two-sided function and I use this mass, uh, mesh um, in the debug um, settings, no not, not, not in the debug, um, in the display settings there's a button two-sided turn it off it's all uh, also at the top two-sided and when two-sided is off you can change the material to at the last point at the menu is inverse culling turn it on and now when inverse culling is on your inside is the outside um, and you can see through the mesh and now you can um, drag here or yes you can sculpt uh, like you want um, clay brush or inflate like this um, yes everything is possible and Yes, now it looks like this. And you can switch between the, the material settings and now you can adjust your your mouth like this. Okay, <laughs> I hope it helps. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.